Tip number 73. If you are not 100% sure if a circuit is going to work correctly, add some optional components and a bypass circuit. We had very similar tip, do you remember? What is the best approach to do if you are not sure if a circuit is going to work? The best approach is to build a test circuit. This tip is a little bit different because uh, there may be some situations when uh, you cannot really use test circuit. For example, when you are designing very, very first prototype, even if you have your test circuit, you still don't have the board. So how you are going to test it? Yeah, for your test circuit, you may need some signals from your board, but you don't have it because you have not designed it yet. So what you are going to do? This. Add some optional components and a bypass circuit into your schematic. I'm going to give you an example. So that's the easiest way to explain. This is a reset circuit of uh, our IMX6 Rex module and uh, this is the optional resistor which we don't have to put there but we used it here. Do you know why? This is a watchdog output from the processor and uh, when uh, you are designing very first prototype. You may not be sure how this watchdog output is going to work. Yeah, is it going to be set up correctly once the board uh, boot up, or do you need to make some software support for this? Or uh, I don't know. Yeah, and it is very important signal because if we directly connect this watchdog output to this reset circuit, which is here. And if it doesn't work the way as we would expect, then whole board is not going to work because it may keep resetting, for example. So we just add the zero ohm resistor, which is unfitted by default, and the board will always boot up. Once we uh, add support for this watchdog output, then maybe later we can just fit the resistor and we will have this watchdog output feature. We add this feature. However, without fitting this zero ohm resistor, we don't have this watchdog feature, but you know, rest of the board is working. So if everything else on the board is working, we can sell very first version of the board to customers, even without the watchdog feature. This is very important. Selling very first version of your board to customers is very important because that's what uh, what your boss is expecting. That's, that's what uh, your customers are or clients are expecting yeah, if you are designing the board for a client to sell the very first version of the board. And if you are able to do it for them, you will be a really, really good engineer. So it really helps you just add a couple of components on the board and uh, it can help you to look really smart because all the boards that you design will be working at the first time. If, uh, ah, what I wanted to say is I've seen some boards, I've seen some people removing all the components which they think are not going to be used in the mass production. They remove all these components from the schematic, from the board. And I've seen situations when then they build the board and uh, find out that, oops, yeah, something is not working correctly because of missing pull up. They removed a pull up and uh, then uh, Everything what they can do is just solder down a resistor somehow or put their wire somehow and they have to redesign the board. They need to make new version of the board just because of a pull up. 
If you are not sure, do not remove it from the schematic. It's not going to take a lot of space on the PCB. Yeah, unless your board is very, very space limited, then you may need to consider what components you are going to remove from the schematic. But most of the projects I've been working on, there is absolutely no problem. Leave a couple of more components and just do not feed them. It's going to help you a lot. This is our secret. This is my secret. How most of the design what I design are sold as version one, issue one, as very first prototype. And all these boards are sold to many customers. Tip number 73. If you are not 100% sure if a circuit is going to work correctly, add some optional components and add a bypass circuit. Why? This helps you to minimize number of revisions of your board.